have to talk about Sony Marvel Universe. We are following up Madam Web, one of our least favorite films of 2024 thus far. We are hoping to break the spell here, Ricky Flex. Um, actually, I do, we have Craven the Hunter. Is that coming before Venom, The Last Dance? No, after. Uh, okay, so we have Venom, The Last Dance potentially breaking the spell. I have a feeling that's not really going to break the spell, so I'm going to skip over it and say Craven the Hunter is trying to break the spell. New trailer came, starring Aaron Taylor Johnson, Russell Crowe, Alessandro Nivola, Freddie Hetchinger. We got a pretty powerful cast here, Ricky Flex, in theaters on December 13th. A lot of places to start here, Ricky Flex, but overall, your reactions to this new trailer. Does this movie look coherent (laughs) does it look pretty good to me this is like the marvel universe the sony marvel universe found a tone and they just said f it we're making john wick superhero style that's what they did here and that's my favorite part about the trailer there's it's a guy who is unkillable yet human he is a guy on the hunt for one man and he is going to stop at nothing in order to take this man down. It just so happens this dude is a human that turns into a rhino. It's John Wick. This is John Wick. And it's violent. It's gory. You got people being split by stumps. You got people having their heads ripped off by dogs slash wolves. You have people getting their heads ripped off again by bear traps. This should have been a red band trailer, Ricky Flex. This was violent. Violence, action-packed. And a common thing we always say, weakness of trailers, and I think I'm going to do a spin zone with it, though, for this, is that it showed too much. They showed a hallway scene. What do we think of hallway scenes? Star Wars, Rogue One. You think of the Batman. Like, they showed a hallway scene. John Wick. You showed a hallway scene, and him actually, like, basically doing the hallway fight. Um, I think you got to, like, save that for the movie. You got to save Rhino for the movie. It showed too much. But, again, this is the Sony-verse. You kind of have to convince us to see this movie now and we all were skeptical this is supposed to be a, a september october release it got pushed to december and we're like how on earth are you going to compete in december at the box office with the sony burst movie and i think this is how they showed us how and i will also say like jc shandor he's directing this movie and if you don't know that name he wrote and directed margin call one of the best finance movies of all business movies of all time. And he's doing this movie, which is so weird, but Holy crap, maybe this, and like, maybe this is his coming back party because he also just got, uh, it just got released or news that Sony is doing another movie with him because they're so happy with Craven the Hunter (laughs) that they're working on a murder mystery film inspired by succession. So he's getting back into his bag in that business type thriller JC Chandor. So I have high hopes for this. I'm not saying it's going to be, oh my God, like this is going to be a great movie, but I will say, can this be the best movie in the Marvel Sony verse? I think that's definitely on the table. That is definitely on the table. I can totally imagine after seeing that and with this 66% on Rotten Tomatoes, I was saying, wow, this is the best Sony Marvel I like that. film. And jc chandor who who does this guy think he is like he can just make margin call and then make craven the hunter he can make margin call he can make one of the best finance movies and then also have the pick of like that it could also have the best movie in the sony marvel universe this guy talk about versatility Uh, oscar nominated writer by the way yeah like what the hell who is this guy this guy is like a ghost he's a myth like john wick and a myth like Craven the Hunter is in this movie. They use that in the first line. They're like, this guy's a myth. Like, no one believes in the Hunter. That's what they refer to him as. Marvel's Babu Yaga. That's what we're looking at here with Craven the Hunter. Give it to us. Where else we want to go here, Ricky Flex? Russell Crowe, I just want to talk about him. Also, in another superhero movie, doing a silly accent, but taking himself more seriously. Russell Crowe, sneaky, has been in a crap ton of of superhero movies when you think about thor love and thunder and you think about uh man of steel batman versus superman i don't think he was maybe it was batman versus superman yeah a little bit maybe for a second because i know kevin costner i think comes back for that one in the ship 
And then you have him here. He's been in three superhero movies. This is an actor you don't really associate with superhero films, but I think this guy needs a check. That's what I'm kind of getting at here. You Dude, know, I, he hasn't Exorcist. done anything. Yeah, he's doing the Pope's Exorcist. I think are they doing a sequel to the Pope's Exorcist? And I think Exorcist? they're doing a sequel. So like this guy loves a paycheck too. Yeah. So I just like, God, he's making these movies, and Gladiator Two is coming out around the same time that Craven the Hunter is. That's gonna feel weird. Very weird. And uh, like this role for him, like, oh, he's gonna be this mafia dad, gangster, you know, like gangster. I'm like, crap, like. I don't know. Like that like the the plot could get crazy here with the rhino like with like I don't know. This feels like it could be a mix of movies. Father son, um also the brother uh, situation here. I forget his Chameleon. name. Chameleon. The Chameleon. I forget his name. Fred Edinger. Uh, thank you, Edinger. Speaking of Gladiator too. Yes. So like the, and then obviously uh the storyline like being the John Wick, unstoppable force, mysterious character. It's going to be a lot to squeeze in here in this movie. But Will this be action-packed? Will it be fun? Stars on screen. I can't wait for this. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Uh, b- by the way, again, this take this with a grain of salt. But holy crap, every time they throw that image of him on the, like, bone uh, throne. The antlers. You know, you know? The antlers or whatever. I'm like, this guy's abs are, like, insane. Those are, like, the deepest eight-pack I've ever seen. Yeah, and it's like... He couldn't show those off with Quicksilver, and he probably will never come back as Quicksilver. He showed him off in the fall guy. I was thinking, like, maybe he took this on because he will never be able to return to the MCU because he is Quicksilver, and that character is dead. And even with the multiverse, he could have came back, but, like, he'll never be able to play another character. Maybe he could have done something for DC. He's done Kick-Ass, and he's done other superhero type of projects. And this is something where people and fans have been clamoring to see Kraven on the big screen for a long time. You let off the podcast talking about it's one of your favorite Spider-Man villains. I think people are uh, people are excited for it. I see why he took it. And maybe he could kind of say, I'm the guy who spun the Sony Marvel Universe. I am the one guy who could kind of put a movie on his back and propel this franchise to mediocrity. I also, Ricky Flex, Freddie Hetchinger, I just want to say I'm sitting on a little take right here. He is going to be one of the up-and-comers going into 2025 this is someone that people are sleeping on he is alongside joseph quinn as the villains that we think in gladiator 2 the two-headed um emperorship or what do we call that the two-headed um yeah the two-headed monster right well the uh, dual emperors in gladiator 2 joseph quinn's getting all the shine because he's in the shinier projects freddie hetchinger it looks like a psycho in that movie this one he is going to be uh, the son of probably uh, he is the son of Russell Crowe's character, the brother of Craven. He's got maybe a scene stealer in this movie, playing a villain that we haven't seen in the trailer, and uh, maybe will be splashy on screen. I'm just thinking, Fred Hetchinger, watch out for this dude, watch out for this guy. Where else do we want to go? So, Rhino, Alessandro Nivola, many saints of Newark star. He's here, he's back, he's alive, he is. The unrecognizable rhino. ricky what are your thoughts on the first look at rhino uh ooh, so trying to make a comic book accurate cgi looks tough but again tough in a trailer hopefully on a big screen it looks fine but hey let's try it out i think this is better than the paul giamatti andrew garfield amazing spider-man 2 attempt with the technology rhino let's just try it cgi has to work it doesn't look like it does but on the big screen let's hope it does this is the same thing that the MCU just did with Captain America 4, right? Brave New World. They have the showing of Red Hulk at the end, just like we have the showing of Rhino here. They don't give you too much screen time. The CGI might still be a work in progress, right? They're not hitting final product probably until the night this movie releases. But it was super exciting. This is so much better than Paul Giamatti. That was so corny. That would have That would have sucked if he was the villain in The Amazing Spider-Man 3 and he was in that Robotronic suit. Like, just make it as comic accurate as possible. That would have been devastating to see a whole Robotronic rhino for an entire movie. This is kind of cool. Robotronic rhino, Paul Giamatti. I don't know. I would have thought less of Paul Giamatti. I do think less 
I always he's in my highest of regards. This guy, like, just nominated for an Oscar, like, could have could have yeah. won last year at the Oscars if he was the bad guy in the Amazing Spider-Man three. I don't think like, he wouldn't even be at the Oscars. His career would have gone downhill after that. That would have been catastrophic. That would have been so weird if he did paycheck. that. Paycheck, 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 paycheck. Uh, before we go further, do you want to do a tom- uh, thermometer predictor? I kind of like the 66. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll go uh, 67. 67. Okay, <laughs> right in the same neighborhood here. I swear to God, if it's 67, I'm going to murder you in your sleep. 